Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. Approximately a year ago, I presented the best PLA material for mechanical parts and uh, that's the engineering PLA by Filaticum. It is incredible material, it will start to deform on 150 degrees Celsius, great mechanical properties. And now the same company, the Filaticum, sent me two new spools for the testing. This is the Semiflex PLA and this is a glass reinforced PLA. They can do incredible things with PLA materials, but in this video I will test only this Semiflex PLA. Glass reinforced version will be tested in a separate video. Now, according to the specifications on their website, it says Filaticum Semiflex is a soft, flexible filament. Objects printed from this filament will not break or deform when they are moderately bent, and after removing of the load, they will get their original shape. Now, the hardness of this material is 95A on shore scale, but don't be confused, don't mix it with the TPU 95 filaments. The hardness is one thing, there's the uh, resistance of the material to the penetration but the flexibility is again something different and this is semi-flex PLA material when you need uh, in your application some flexibility maybe between rigid PLA and uh, soft TPU material we will see and at this moment I'm not even sure what uh, type of the test I have to use because I have that testing method for the rigid filament materials and also I have separate group of testing for the flexible materials but this is something between, but I will start with my regular testing methods and I will see if I have to use some flexible testing. Thanks to the PLA based rev material, it is much easier to print than most other flexible filaments and it doesn't require any special printer or similar. And recommended printing settings, lower speed, 50 mm per second and approximately 215 on the nozzle. It's in black color and packed in this uh, foil, but this is not vacuum packaging. Well, the PLA is not so sensitive to moisture anyway. Hmm, it looks like some gray color, not completely black. Hmm, I can feel it is flexible, but not so elastic like some soft TPU filaments. So, same flex material. They asked me to mention this because this is only prototype packaging, because in future here will be a semi flex title. I'm not sure what is this, when I touch with my finger I can see the color changed a little bit. This is uh, prepared especially for me, this is prototype packaging only. Anyway, let's start with the printing. Everything will be printed on Ender 3 S1 CD printer. First few layers lay down perfectly, the start is good, but uh, from time to time I can hear some cracks. And this is typical sign that the filament is not completely dry, so that's uh, boiling of those micro water drops. I hope it will not have negative effect on the print quality. The progress is good, but I can see a lot of stringing, but I will analyze this later when it's finished. The bed cooled down to 30 degrees. Oh, this sticks too good, like regular TPU. And <laughs> it's flexible, so the flexing of the bed is not helping. But peeling of the object, yes, because it's flexible. Oh. Hmm, a little bit weaker layer adhesion, but I will test that later. And with the help of the scraper, it's down. I hope the next printing will remove these marks. And uh, I can see a lot of stringing on this, even on the lowest temperature. So definitely this goes to the firm dry a couple of hours. And then I will wrap it in this temperature tower. After one hour of drying, I'm reprinting the temperature tower. And I cannot hear those cracks anymore. And in the meantime, I even replaced the filament dryer because exit from this one is under 90 degree angle. And the filament has very weak friction and almost jammed, so here the exit is much smoother, so I'm not sure why is it so hard to design this nicely, I mean it doesn't cost you more to create a nice exit from here. We will see if we will have a less stringing in approximately one hour. Well it looks better now, but it is still far from perfect. And this time I could release it with the bending. Well, except the stringing, it's a perfect temperature tower and the uh, improvement is obvious, but I will not dry it anymore. Well, actually, I will do, but I will start with the printing of the test objects on 210 degrees Celsius. 
Trim temperatures on the bed will be only 40 degrees Celsius. I am printing all 10 subjects at once and I cannot hear those cracks anymore, but I am still printing from the filament dryer. One more hour of printing and I can see less and less uh, stringing, so this filament drying really have a positive effect to this uh, semi-flex filament. Printed in a three and a half hours and uh, as you can see very minimal stringing, so this drying works. Ah, good. Finally it doesn't stick too good. Perfect. And it's ready for testing. This is GT2 timing belt and I already have a separate video with detailed experimenting uh, where I used the TPU filament for the timing belts and the conclusion was that uh, what we need is the hardest possible materials because we don't need the elasticity but only the flexibility otherwise it jumps over the tooth. Now I'm curious because this semi-flex PLA is uh, less elastic compared to the TPU filaments but it's flexible so maybe this can be a good material for these timing belts if we need the smaller loads, of course. This one printed in 17 minutes. Hmm, I think this is promising. If it doesn't creep, then it may work good. Well, actually, probably not, because on the seam line it breaks. Hmm, oh, pity. Immediately after the filament dryer it goes to these vacuum bags and these are those uh, king room vacuum bags with double sealing line and as you can see these are uh, presented maybe a few months ago and they are still holding the vacuum. This is my C-test object for the creep test and I'm not even sure if it is measurable. Creeping is the deformation under the constant load. These are some TPU filaments testing in progress. And let's see if it is measurable or it will be too big. This is 1.25 kilogram load. Okay, let's measure the star deformation. Nineteen eighty-two. I thought it will not survive even the first day, but this is now the sixth one. I'm removing the load now and I will show the results at the end of this video. It is time to start the mechanical testing. This is a tensile or pouring test. This test object is printed in horizontal position. The smallest cross section area is 4x4 four four millimeters. And a break like this is the typical sign that uh, this has a little bit weaker layer adhesion, but this will be my next testing. This test object is printed in vertical position with the same 4 by 4 mm cross section area. Slightly above 10 kg is a little bit weak for my taste. Two sided shear stress. The diameter of this test object is 5 mm. And interesting, it doesn't break suddenly, just slowly shear. Correctly in three pieces. The next one is the torque or twist test. And I want to measure here the load at uh, 90 degree rotation, which is 0 0.5. One. And I could make three rotations before the permanent fail. Three point bending test. This is my test equipment and these are the loads I will use. And here you can see all the loads uh, set, but of course they will be placed one by one. And I want to measure the deformation after 130 and 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 1.25 kg, 2.5 kg load, 5 kg load, and under 10 kg it completely deforms. And the de deformation is permanent. ISO impact test and with this we can check how brittle is some material and usually the PLA is very brittle. Now I have the feeling that uh, if this would have a better layer adhesion, this test object wouldn't even break in this test. Zero position. PLA semiflex. The same break in slow motion and this is how it looks like after this uh, impact test. So this is the zero position and this is the position of a break in this uh, semi-flex PLA 
and using this equation I can calculate the braking energy and uh, this is far stronger even from the average ABS. I will show you the rest in the results. And now my temperature test, uh, this on the right side is the semi-flex because I am parallel working on several experiments. And I want to record the temperature of the first noticeable deformation. This is a speed up video, time lapse of approximately 6-7 minutes. And a very interesting PLA. I noticed first deformation at approximately 115 degrees Celsius. So this material can be even boiled if necessary for the cleaning or something like that. On 150 degrees Celsius, I stopped the experiment and I analyzed the objects. And I can see this uh, is now a little bit more flexible than on the room temperature. But only after approximately two minutes, I take it out from the oven and uh, it has the same flexibility and hardness like uh, before this testing on the room temperature. But it has some minimal permanent deformation. Let's check the data in this Excel table, which you can download from my website. And I will start with the creep test and these are those measured values, the distance between two reference surfaces. But what we need is difference between two days. And that's what we can see on this graph. And uh, here we can see that only after maybe day five or day six, uh, it uh, reduced with the creeping. But even then we had approximately half millimeters of uh, deformation. But I was uh, surprised that uh, it survived even the first day. The tensile and the layer adhesion test side by side. Now this is not so critical because this failed earlier because of the weak layer adhesion, but this is the value which has to be somehow improved, but you have to pay attention to your designs. Uh, Shear stress and uh, well here I entered uh, some materials, average PLA, PETG and ABS for reference. Three point bending test. Um, well, these values are not so important. I would like to present better this table where I have these loads uh, and I measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And uh, on 10 kg it completely failed, so it was not measurable anymore. And uh, here we can see that, for example, 5 kg is too big load for this material because it continuously deforms. And uh, well, only on lower values uh, it can be used, but of course don't forget this is semi-flex material. Torque or twist test and uh, well, this is always more important data load at 90 degree angle and it almost get its original shape if I remove the load here, but after three rotations uh, the deformation was permanent. And the uh, ISO impact test and this is where this material shines and uh, just for reference to see how big is this value, I enter here the average PLA, PETG and ABS and here you can see that this is very stronger even compared to the average ABS material. And another uh, test where this material is great and that's the temperature resistance and the first deformation on 150 degrees Celsius I could notice and uh, even it had very minimal deformation I went up to 150 degrees Celsius in the temperature test and again just for reference some average uh, PLA, PLG and ABS materials. And uh, this is the price I currently uh, I can see on the website and don't forget this is for the 750 grams pool. Another conclusions. Well the semi-flex PLA is very interesting material with its own advantages and disadvantages. And uh, you saw the results but uh, the most important I would like to mention again. And I think the two biggest advantages of this material is that incredible temperature resistance. And the second is thanks to this flexibility it is very impact resistant material too. Two biggest disadvantages, or well, maybe uh, the biggest is the weaker layer adhesion. So this means that you have to pay attention in your application. You cannot have too big load along the z-axis. And the second is that uh, it requires a drying too. Now uh, we have the message for the Filaticum 2 because uh, this problem I experienced in, with their earlier filaments too. And they told me that PLA is not so sensitive to moisture. Well, it's true, not so sensitive like uh, PTG or nylon, but it is still better for it if it is dry. And I think they should improve their packaging, at least uh, to put some desiccant inside, but also some kind of vacuum packaging would be better for these filaments. 
Probably after my vacation, maybe one month, I will test their glass reinforced uh, filament PLA2. And I hope you will follow me to that video too. Until that, thank you for watching and happy printing.